the previous video we spoke about how hiv infected our body and how it led to aids it led to the development or the progression of aids in this video we'll talk about how hiv is transmitted from one person to another and what exactly is the cure or treatment plan for a person infected with hiv i did tell you about how lady diana shook the hands of the patient right it means that it cannot just spread by just regular contact just regular touching but a lot of that was not known during that time and there's still a lot of stigma surrounding the spread of hiv because of the way it is spread so how hiv spreads is basically through body fluids now there are different types of body fluids involved like the semen or vaginal secretions or rectal secretions blood and even breast milk so how does hiv spread through these body fluids you ask it is when a person has unprotected intercourse especially with multiple sexual partners so unprotected means without the use of condoms when there is a transfer of body fluids between two people during intercourse and when there are multiple sexual partners involved these secretions may be exchanged between the people and that would lead to the spreading of the virus through blood it may spread through frequent blood transfusions some people have some bleeding disorders that might need frequent blood transfusions and if so if the blood is not checked for this disease specifically it might be missed and the blood might end up being transfused into a patient that could lead to hiv spread and also by sharing of needles so where does the sharing of needles come into play when you go take tattoos in shady tattoo parlors not reputed ones not quality ones or when there is intravenous drug use or drug abuse so drug users usually share needles between between other addicts and that is also a chance by which hiv can spread from one person to another through breast milk of course it is obvious it is from the mother to a child if the mother is infected with hiv and if she breastfeeds the child that could lead to the transfer of the virus to the child as well there is also another way by which this virus can spread from the mother to the child it is through the placenta this virus does not spread by saliva simple contact touching by air or through insects so this would help in reducing a lot of stigma around hiv infected people just by coming in contact with them by touching them by hugging them by wearing their clothes or by sitting in the same chair that they occupied that's not how you get aids from a, an infected person it needs to be either through these vaginal rectal or semen secretions through blood or through breast milk Now that we've understood how HIV spreads, let's talk about how it can be prevented. Notice how I'm saying prevented and not cured because as of now there is no cure for HIV, there is only prevention. Remember how HIV had its DNA integrated with the human DNA itself? That makes it incredibly difficult to find a cure for this disease. It can only be prevented by avoiding intercourse with multiple sexual partners and always using condoms when you are having intercourse with unknown people. Condoms are of course barriers, rubber latex barriers that prevent the transfer of the vaginal secretions or semen from a person to another. So condoms really help prevent the spread of this disease as well. The transmission of HIV can also be prevented by avoiding intravenous drug use or avoiding sharing of needles between different people and especially by getting tattoos from reputed places make sure that the needle that they used has been properly sterilized is preferably new so that the spread of this disease can be prevented Now what about from a mother to a child so all these can be done you can avoid having intercourse with multiple sexual partners and you can use condoms as protection and you can also avoid intravenous drug or sharing of needles but what about from a mother to a child if the mother is infected with hiv then the child will get hiv anyway through the placenta right even if the mother chooses not to breastfeed how can that be prevented well that can be prevented and this is a form of treatment for hiv that is known as antiretroviral treatment or art this is like a tablet that can be taken by hiv infected people to minimize the effect of the disease basically to make sure the virus slows down its replication and if pregnant women take this tablet then there is a high chance that the virus will not spread from the mother to the child so this antiretroviral treatment basically slows down the progression of hiv in the body it can increase the period of clinical latency by even up to 15 years on average the clinical latency period is around 10 to 12 years right by taking the art treatment the clinical latency period can be increased up to 15 years even more than that 
ART can also increase the overall life expectancy by delaying the onset of opportunistic infections by increasing the period of clinical latency. ART also reduces the risk of spread through body fluids. That is, even with condoms, there is always the risk of the disease being spread to another person, right? So, ART reduces the risk of the infection spreading through body fluids and even through the placenta. So, this is all about HIV, how it infects people and how it causes AIDS and how it spreads and how its spread can be prevented.